Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, July 16th, and uh, it's a stormy, rainy sort of day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Hot, thunderstorms, humid, muggy, all that good stuff, but such is July in southeastern Pennsylvania. Enjoying some 8 o'clock coffee, we'll get onto a pipe in a bit. Just had a couple things I wanted to catch up on before we get we, we jump right in uh, first is um, a request for for uh, some prayers for a friend of ours uh, our friend Daniel Leslie <clears throat> now you if you've attended a YTPC live stream you probably know Daniel Daniel's a wonderful chatty inquisitive fellow that uh, is, is always a joy to have around and his father is doing very poorly. Uh, in fact, Daniel apparently said that, uh, <clears throat> and Cliff, uh, Pipe Ninja put a video up yesterday about this. Uh, Daniel apparently said in, a, in another live stream that uh, he, his father has gone into a coma and he's not expected to last much longer. So, uh, very hard time for Daniel and you know I'm sure he is just absolutely devastated by this. Uh, I've gone through this recently Many of you have gone through the loss of a parent. I know how hard it can be. So Daniel needs our our, uh, our prayers, our love, and our, our support and good thoughts. So please just take a minute to think about Daniel and his dad. Pray for his dad. Pray for Daniel and uh, his family. And uh, just keep him in mind in the coming days. He's, uh, just, just keep close to your heart. So... The other thing that I wanted to talk about this morning has escaped me because because that uh, yeah that that there's bad news I I did I don't I don't like having to having to see people go through things like that so I hope you're well Daniel uh, well let's move on to some of the main topics and maybe the other thing will come back to me. I have today um, a concoction of sorts. So first off, I've got a Jamutan here, one of the couch twin pipes. Very, very nice work on this, Jason. And I am going to be smoking a, well, the tobacco of the week from the live stream last night was uh, Virginia Gentleman, which was a kind gift of my friend Doug Owen from the cargo hold. And one of the other choices was crooner. And Doug suggested in the live stream on Friday, well, why not mix them 50-50 and you can call it bingos to Richmond. So I liked that idea. And actually, I don't have much of the Virginia gentleman left. So it's not going to be the tobacco of the week. It's going to be the tobacco of today because the rest of this is going to be going into the 2023 jar. But what I did was... Uh, I, I did about a three quarters of a bowl of Virginia Gentleman on Friday, and I topped it with Crooner. So the, last, the first quarter was Crooner. And Bing goes to Richmond. I was thinking afterwards maybe Bing on maybe on the road to Richmond would be sufficient, but we'll, we'll stick with Doug's Bing. Bing goes to Richmond. So today I thought, well, I don't want to smoke all of this because I do want to put some in my 2023 jar. So what I've done is I've inverted it. <clears throat> I've got three quarters of a bowl of cruder, and the top quarter is Virginia Gentleman. So we'll get some sense of that Virginia Gentleman, and then we'll ease into some nice cruder. So let's get that going. Remember. made a big noise there so <laughs> it's easy to knock things over here so if you don't know Virginia gentlemen I recommend you get to know it it's um, Virginia early and a little bit oriental just a tiny bit in fact I forgot it was there on Friday <clears throat> I'm sorry 
I am taking allergy pills. They just don't seem to be working. So, yeah, Virginia Burley, a little bit of Oriental. And uh, nice, solid, easy smoking blend. Uh, highly recommend you, you give it a try if you like any of those three tobaccos. There's something in it for you. And Crooner. I'll let you know when we hit Crooner, but right now it's all Virginia gentlemen. So the main thing I wanted to talk about today is I've been thinking a lot about this idea of finding meaning, finding a purpose. And actually this goes a bit to um, well, it's about my own dad, um, harkening back to what we were talking about earlier. Um, conversations with some other folks, uh, and, and a, a, a particular video that I saw. And this video was by a fellow who goes by the name, I don't know how to pronounce it actually, because it's got some numbers, I think it's numbers. I think it's EXBUR1A. I think that's what his YouTube name is. I, in my head, I call him Exervia. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be pronounced or not. Um, he's an interesting fellow. He, he's written some books. I actually came to him through his uh, first book, which was... Hmm, I can't remember the name of it. But I will look it up while I talk, because it's important. Uh, he also wrote a book I haven't read called Geometry for Ocelots. Which is a fantastic title for a book. But that's not the one that I found. I have not read that one yet. And in reading this book, I realized, probably at the end of it, he says something uh, about his YouTube channel. And he has a really interesting YouTube channel. Now, I'll tell you... I'm sorry, I'm looking down, but I'm trying to find the name of this book. I will say right off the bat that uh, this is not for everyone. Uh, he uses very strong language. It's not, you know, family friendly. And I just want to try and see my books. It's not family friendly. And probably not something that a lot of you are going to enjoy. The book I was thinking of is called Logic Beach Part 1. And unfortunately, I don't think there's ever been a Logic Beach Part 2. So yeah, strong language, uh, a bit dismissive of, of uh, religion at times and things like that. But, the, but he's clearly a very bright guy that thinks very differently and approaches the world in a very logical fashion for the most part. He has this video, and I will link to this one below, again, be warned about the language and everything, which is called Meaning is a Jumper You Knit Yourself. And I'm just going to leave that out there for you to sort out uh, <laughs> and decide whether or not you want to see it. Uh, but the primary thesis goes to something that I've thought about for a long time, and other people have I've talked about a lot with other people, and that is this idea of finding meaning in the world. You know, why, why do you feel, why, why are happy people happy? Now, put it, let's be really direct about it. Why are happy people happy? Uh, it's not money. Clearly not money. Uh, if you're unhappy, you might think it is, but it's not. It's not who you know. It's not, you know, it's a combination of things. Yes, you need good relationships. Yes, you need food. You know, you need shelter. Of course, you, you need the basic needs satisfied, but that doesn't make you happy either. That just keeps you alive. What makes you happy? Well, purpose, meaning, you know, a, a sense of a sense of contribution, maybe. Maybe contribution is not the right word, because I think you can find this in something that is entirely selfish and, and nobody else ever knows about. But you need to have something that you get up in the morning and say, this is what I do. This is, this is me. Not a job, necessarily. It could be your job, and you're very fortunate if it is. But it might be a hobby. It might be a passion. It might be, you know, I, I climb mountains. I, uh, 
dive off cliffs, I, I hang glide, you know, all these kind of dangerous things. Or maybe it's I fish, maybe it's I paint, um, I knit sweaters. I, I don't, it's different for everybody, and everybody's got to find it. And the thing is, it can't be judged. You know, if somebody's passion in life, if somebody's meaning, let's not call it passion because I, I want to stick to meaning. If the meaning that you find, if, if what brings meaning to your life is watching reality television and eating takeout food, and you're happy, it sounds like something that I could judge. Like I do, in my mind, think that's a waste of time. But I can't deny that person their happiness. I can wish for them to find another happiness. I can, I can maybe say, hey, have you noticed there's trees and sky and stuff out there? But I can't. I can't deny that they're happy. I guess that's the thing. And they're happy because they've found their purpose. They've found their meaning in life. Uh, as, as trivial as it may seem to you, to them it's important. You know, there are people that spend their entire life trying to solve one small mathematical problem and never do it. But they're happy because they're engaged in that. And somebody else might look at that and say, that's a complete waste. You know, they wasted their life. No, they didn't because they lived it in a state of happiness. I don't think you can waste life. Oh, you can waste it. You can waste somebody else's life. But you, your own life, life is, it is, it is life, you know. It's special. No matter what it's doing, it's, it's special. It's something that we can't make. It's something that we don't understand. It's just something, it's a gift of, from God. And I don't know that you can waste it because every moment of it is precious. If the person experiencing that little segment of life is happy and fulfilled, I don't think it can be wasted. Or it can be considered a waste. To quote uh, Monty Python's Brian, don't judge others or else you might get judged yourself. <laughs> I think that it might have been somebody else in the movie that said that, but it's one of them. I don't like that movie much for reasons that are kind of obvious to most, but uh, that line I, I really enjoyed. So what's this got to do with chaos? Well, the world is chaos. I mean, it is. And it's, it's more so now than it was four years ago. It'll probably be more so in four years than it is now. Just, <laughs> that's what happens. Uh, the world is chaos. And if you watch this video uh, that I'll link below, the universe is chaos. Everything. But there, is no, there is no baked in meaning in life. Is, is kind of the bottom line. You gotta find it for yourself. And maybe, don't get me wrong, I'm not going atheist on you. Maybe finding your religion is that meaning. And maybe that meaning is baked in by God. So I'm not I'm not denying that as as, as a possibility. In fact I truly believe that. But let's try to keep it neutral and just say that Whatever the meaning might be, you've got to find it. It's hard. What does this have to do with my dad? I've been reflecting a lot on my dad's life. And, uh, you know, he never, he was a good, solid guy. You know, he worked, he supported his family. He uh, retired. He enjoyed his TV time. Occasionally went, you know, on, on little trips here and there, but didn't really have any hobbies or anything. Kept the house maintained, and that was about it. 
He was happy. I remember visiting him and thinking, I couldn't live like this. I don't understand how he, how he can do this. But he was happy. And for some reason that's been sort of sitting, sitting in my mind the past week. As I'm down here doing woodworking, building my chest of drawers and um, doing my science-y stuff that I do for a living and playing around with pipe stuff and making these rambling YouTube videos and everything else I'm doing, gardening and all that. And I'm thinking, boy, you know, I'm look at all these things I'm doing. I'm so productive. And in the back of my mind, I've been thinking, you know, my dad didn't do any of that. Uh, but he was happy. And yeah, you got to find the thing that makes you happy. There's no recipe for it. And most importantly, it's, it's something that only you can decide. And perhaps the saddest thing of all, and we'll tie this up. I know I'm jumping around all over the place here, but the saddest thing of all, I think, is that there are people, many people, that never stop looking, that never take a minute to step back and say, okay, this is good enough. Um, I'm happy now. Those are the people that I really feel for. And those people are often much more fortunate than most of us in whatever way, and they don't see it. Because they're expecting something else. They're always expecting that... I'm getting crooner now. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. They're always expecting that something bigger and better is just around that corner. It's like the Instagram scroll. You know, oh, that's a nice looking pipe, that's a nice looking... I really should go and do that thing, but maybe the next pipe is better than this one. Maybe the next little jokey thing that I'm going to see is going to be even funnier. Maybe that'll be the one that I'll tell my friends. It just, this is good, but there's got to be something better, and it might be that next one. Well, you know what that is? That's the same psychology that has you pulling the, the lever on the, uh, the slot machine. You know, it's a, uh, what is it called, a random, random ratio reinforcement schedule, something like that, psychology 20-some years ago. Random schedule reinforcement. <laughs> well, your, your social media stuff is set up to do that to you. Your TV viewing now is set up to do that to you. Watching this, it ends, it goes down into the corner, the next one starts up here. Well, I enjoyed that, but maybe this one's better. Media is, is designed the same way a slot machine is designed. And for some sad people, life is designed in that fashion too. This is nice, but it's got to be just, just around that corner. And sometimes there's not. Sometimes what's around that corner is much worse. So in this chaos of, of existence, we build these little islands of, of meaning, or we fail to. And that's really bad, and being a good person and paying attention to God, whoever your God may be, is all that you can do in life. Everything else is just stuff. Okay, I think I've talked about that enough. So one, one more thing. Uh, during a live stream the other night, my friend, this was about two weeks ago, my friend, uh, he goes by poem on the live streams. Uh, he 
said, you know, I did a, I did a painting of you. I said, what? A portrait actually was the word he used. And you might remember years ago, uh, Tony 513 did a pencil sketch of me, which I, I've got hanging up over there and I, I really like. But I think, what, what, why would anybody do it? He said, oh, I'd like to, you know, it's practice. I freeze the screen. And I, so he sent me uh, a picture of this and I'm going to show it to you if the gods allow me to. Hey, yeah, look at that, it worked. So this was this is Palm's work. Uh, you know, I think yeah, I look a little a little angry there, but uh, it's not it's not bad, not bad at all. I really really like it quite a bit actually. Uh, he said that this is this is a technique where he's using an ink wash on a plastic paper, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he said the paper doesn't absorb the ink, so it makes it more challenging. Uh, yeah, I think he did a great job, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to have to get this printed out and hung up on my wall of uh, wall of, of pipe smokers over there, which will mean I'll be doubly represented on the wall. But, well, you know, such is life. <laughs> it's me, Bella Lugosi, and Boris Karloff right now. So it'll be me, me, Bella, and Boris. Uh, but thank you, Poem. I really enjoyed that. It's great work. You, uh, you clearly are a very talented artist especially to do that off of a screen capture. Pretty impressive. Uh, the weird world where you sit in your basement and talk to yourself and people paint pictures of you, which is very strange. All right, folks, I'm gonna wrap this up because I, I know I've gone long. I don't know how long, but probably longer than I should. Um, Life here continues as, as it has been. I'm working on the chest of drawers, making nice progress. Garden's doing well. Raining, can't do much with it. Uh, brought in the first tomatoes yesterday. Uh, little cherry tomatoes. And, uh, yeah, today just going to do that sort of stuff. I'm making pickles. That's something. We'll talk about that maybe next week. And I'm going to finish this uh, now crooner. But uh, really enjoyed the Virginia gentleman. Thank you again, Doug. And I shall draw this to a close. So until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.